Yeah, so about the cape, we got to shout out Georgia Tech. It's Cape Day for the Jackets. They're collaborating with local Children's Hospital. There it is right there. Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. So you heard the man say it. Fans encouraged to buy gold capes from the hospital and wear them today. Yeah. Proceeds go to support the Atlanta community's young superheroes. You can see that game. Georgia Tech hosting North Carolina today, 4 p.m. Eastern. Let's go. On the ACC Let's now. Go. That was a little creepy what you just Coat did there. Tails. That could have gone. Time bomb waiting on us. He joins us now. Look, Paul, we've got both. Paul, by, by the way, we have both 5-0 uh, and o teams in Auburn and Florida. When you look at the SEC, which one of those schools has a better chance to, to challenge the traditional SEC powerhouses? Okay, so those guys are the top 10 in the top 10 in teams. Who do you have in, in your top four right now? This is difficult. There are a lot of there's a lot of teams vying for. Eduardo Perez is here. He's got props. Obviously, the questions were headed towards Kershaw. The Twitter was a buzz that it was Kershaw tipping the pitches. What did you see? Well, that's the first thing that happens. Social media starts going crazy, right. and you see the, the the key is you see uh, Turner talking to two guys. Who are they? Eaton and Rendon. They're off the end of the bat, but the launch degree was 11 degrees. So that tells me right there he was out in front of it because he was looking fastball, looking middle in, cheating to get the barrel out, and he was fortunate enough to get a base hit on that one. Quickly, how does this play out as the series continues? Well, it's just Pedro Baez is going to have to make a, major, uh, a little adjustment. Not everybody can see it. Some guys. for the weekend and it's a quick reminder the M is for the matchup that he's focused on the V is for the most vulnerable and the P is for the player to watch today Desmond give me an M 